What if we brought the dinosaurs back to our time? Dinosaurs. These animals dominated Earth for more than 140 million years, and the reason for the decline of their era was the collision of Earth with a huge asteroid. But today, we'll not talk about dinosaurs, but we will tell you about one huge desire of all paleontologists. Man has long been tormented by the question, is it possible to return these long-gone reptiles from the realm of the dead? Is Jurassic Park possible in modern times? And if we could do it after all, would we really like it? But before answering these questions, be sure to subscribe to our Dinosaur Age channel. Rate our videos and write comments. Your opinion is very important to us. And now, we continue. The basic concept of dinosaur resurrection starts with a mosquito filled with DNA that has been stored in amber for tens of millions of years. But is it scientifically possible? Or is it all fiction? Amber is a wood resin produced by some coniferous trees which, over thousands of years, has become petrified due to its high pressure and temperature. For years, the resin has hardened, thereby forming a gem that people have used as jewelry for millennia. Dinosaur DNA, which could have been kept inside blood-sucking insects buried in amber, is of great interest since DNA contains genetic information on the growth and functioning of all living beings on the planet. But can ancient DNA extracted from amber be a genetic material to recreate extinct animals? As modern scientists say, we have mosquitoes and other biting parasites such as flies and fleas that have survived since dinosaurs in amber. But the fact is that when a sample is found in amber, it consists only of husks and does not contain soft tissue. So the blood of mosquitoes in amber will not be preserved, and as a result, DNA is simply impossible to extract. Based on this, it could be concluded that Jurassic Park cannot be created in the way that the famous science fiction writer Michael Crichton wrote. But the search for dinosaur DNA doesn't end there. The remains of blood were still found inside ancient insects, but not in amber. A few years ago, an article was published about a mosquito from the Eocene. That's about 45 million years ago. That is, about 20 million years after the dinosaurs became extinct. The mosquito is well preserved in the bottom sediments of the lake and had a red pigment in the belly. When the scientists tested this pigment chemically, they found hemoglobin-derived porphyrins. As known, these decay products of hemoglobin, a red protein, are responsible for saturating the body's tissues with oxygen in the body of almost all vertebrates. And the idea that one day we can find a mosquito or a biting fly from the Mesozoic with some parts of the blood still held is not so fantastic. But that's not all. Even if paleontologists manage to find preserved blood, it does not mean that scientists will find DNA in it. Thus, even if dinosaur blood was found inside an ancient insect, the ability to recreate a reptile from it is not guaranteed. In 2015, paleontology scientists have found within the fossil bone of a Cretaceous dinosaur what they interpreted as erythrocyte, also known as red blood cells. These blood cells contain nuclei that mammals do not have, so it's been suggested that they are red reptile blood cells. Scientists compared them to birds' red blood cells and it showed some morphological similarities. Using modern equipment, scientists tried to find at least some trace of DNA in this material, but could not detect anything. The result of this work is, even if we manage to find blood or soft tissue, it is far from a fact that we will find DNA. Ancient DNA has already been extracted from permafrost and has also been found in fossils of bones or other parts of the body that are not yet fully fossilized. But DNA is vulnerable and degrades very quickly. Sunlight also has a negative effect, and water significantly accelerates the deterioration of DNA. To work with DNA, strictly controlled conditions must be maintained. Currently, the oldest DNA found is about a million years old, although it may be younger because the exact age is still very difficult to determine. And to get to the dinosaurs, you need to find DNA 65 times older. Now, 
Let's imagine if dinosaur DNA has been discovered, and what happens next? If you work at Jurassic Park's Genetic Engineering Center, you just combine it with a frog's DNA and recreate the extinct reptile. After all, in the film Jurassic Park, they say that they found fragmented DNA. They determined where the holes were and filled them with frog DNA. But the problem is that we can't know where the holes are if we don't have the whole genome. A genome is a complete set of DNA from a living being. Without the full genome, it would be impossible to tell which parts of DNA were found, and therefore, it would be impossible to fill in the gaps to build an entire animal. But if we had the whole genome and we were going to fill the holes with fragments, then we definitely wouldn't do this with frogs, because frogs are amphibians. If we were going to do this, we would use the DNA of birds, because birds are direct descendants of dinosaurs. Well, or they would do it with the DNA of a crocodile, because they have a common ancestor with dinosaurs. So, can we clone dinosaurs after all? Dinosaurs went extinct about 66 million years ago, and with so much time gone, it's unlikely that it'll be possible to find dinosaur DNA today. But some paleontologist scientists refuse to stop its search, hoping to get lucky. If we take into account all the above information, then we can conclude that the cloning of the dinosaur is no longer an urgent topic. But there is an alternative way to recreate extinct animals, such as redesigning them. To do this, you need to start with a living animal and return to ancient reptiles, trying to reverse at least 66 million years of evolution. For example, we could take a chicken and genetically engineer it so it has teeth or a long tail. But even if we do, it will no longer be a dinosaur, because it was reconstructed. Beyond that, recreating dinosaurs or any other extinct animal can cause some ethical dilemmas. An animal that went extinct naturally 150 million years ago knows nothing about the world. How will it exist now? What will it eat if the grass in its era did not already exist? What is its function in this habitat? The attempt to resurrect dinosaurs presents many scientific and ethical challenges and creating a creature that could be put on public display in zoos or amusement parks like Jurassic World is likely not the answer to these questions. So, at the moment, the right decision will be to leave the dinosaurs in the past. And the use of genetic engineering to return extinct animals can be considered necessary under other circumstances, such as the return of those animal species that have become extinct due to human actions on the planet. So, if someone decides to return an extinct wandering pigeon, that lived in the modern ecosystem and fully fit into it, then this action would be justified by a good goal. You've watched another video of the Dinosaur Age channel. Rain our video, like or comment, and be sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss new interesting Dinosaur Age videos.